Hi everybody, in this lesson we are going to learn how to combine like terms or it's called simplifying when we're talking about algebra. Simplify. So like terms. We need to define what like terms are. Like terms have the same variables. So for example, in, in example number one, I am going to put a box around negative 2x. I want you to do the same thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for all of the same variables here. So I'm also going to put a box around negative 4x or minus 4x. Negative and minus we can think of as the same. Last but not least, I am going to put a box around 15x. So I have found three terms in this expression that have the same variables. Now, you might be wondering about this x squared. Well, the second part of having like terms is you have they ha also have to have the same exponents. So because this 2x squared has a different exponent, I'm actually going to circle it. I'm going to circle it. I'm going to give it a different shape. And now with like terms, all I have left here is my constant. So I'm going to use a third shape. I have 3, I have 5, and I have 11. These are all positive. Um, so constants can always be combined. Now that I have identified all of my like terms, I can combine them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my negative 2x right here, and I'm going to add my negative 4x to that, and I'm going to add my negative 15x to that. And that is going to be negative 21x's. So down here, I'm going to write negative 21x as my first term. And I've essentially used those three that I have in pink that I have boxed that you have boxed as well. Now I can take my, let's go with my 2x squared. I'm just going to bring my 2x squared down. There's nothing to combine it. It's the only one that has been circled. And last but not least, I have my constants 3 plus 5 plus 11. It's going to give me 19. So I'm going to put the 19 here. And I have simplified this expression. Please note that when I combine, when I boxed or circled or squared, I kept the sign with the term. So my plus goes with my 3, my minus goes with my, or my negative or minus goes with my 4x. You have to keep the terms with each of, or you have to keep the, you have to keep the sign with the term. So let's try example number two. I am going to start with my x, and I am going to put a box around my x. Your first term, if it's positive, it's not going to show that it's positive. This is also going to be 1. My coefficient here is 1. Now I'm going to find everything else that has the variable of x. So right next door, I have my positive 2x. And then I have my negative 3x. I am going to combine them together. So I have my positive 1x plus my 2x plus my negative 3x. That is going to simplify to 0x's. So I can cancel those out and I have nothing that I need to write down. So let's now go on. I have my constants. I have a negative 9 a negative 2, and a positive 5. Please note that I'm keeping my sign with the term. So that's a negative 9 plus negative 2 plus 5, and that is going to give me a negative 6. And then I have my y, one lonesome y, and I'm going to bring that right down. And then I'm going to write minus 6 after it. We typically put our constants and then our our variables, and then our constant at the end. So that's my answer. A few more examples here. Nothing changes when you have decimals or fractions. You treat them the same way, and you can use your calculator. So I want you to try 
3 and 4. When I combined my m's here, I got 77.39m, and then negative 30 plus positive 45 is positive 15. Now right here, when I took negative 0.5 plus 1 half, those two canceled each other out, so I just kept my 2 thirds p minus 2.75. Sometimes we use parentheses just to separate a plus sign with a negative. So try this one. I can write this one as negative 7b minus 9k plus 6, or we can leave it how it was here, and we can say negative 7b plus negative k plus 6. For the last example, the dimensions of the garden are shown below, write an expression to find perimeter. First thing is perimeter is the sum of all the sides, the sum of all sides. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label all the sides. So we have another two x here, and then we have one fourth, fourth x minus two here. We can add all these up, so I have two x, plus 1 fourth x minus 2 plus 2x plus another 1 fourth x minus 2. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this without the parentheses here. And now I have 2x, a quarter of an x, another 2x, and another quarter of an x. That's going to give me four and a half x, and then I have a negative two and a negative two, and that's negative four. So my perimeter is four and a half x minus four.